Analytic Yena's liquid handling platforms use the same pipe padding technology. The patented tip sealing technology is proven in high throughput precision and reliable pipetting results in the pharmaceutical and life science industries. This graphic shows the mounting of the pistons in the head, exemplarily by only one piston. A cushion of air is always located between the piston and the liquid sample in the tip. The silicone mat ensures an airtight seal between the tips and the head. The general piston cycle consists of four steps. Aspirate, dispense, blow out and move pistons to zero. When the piston cycle is completed, the piston is back in the starting position and ready for a new liquid transfer. We can generally distinguish between two different pipetting techniques. Forward pipetting is the standard mode frequently used for mostly aqueous solutions. During the upward movement of the piston, an exactly set volume of liquid is aspirated into the tip from a source well. During the dispense step, the piston is moved downward. The dispense with blowout is performed into the target well to drain the tips completely and to guarantee the aspired volume. At the end, the piston system needs to be reset to be ready for a new pipetting cycle. The pistons move back to the starting position, also known as piston to zero line, so that the system is prepared for the next aspiration step. To summarize, Forward pipetting consists of aspirating an exact volume without overstroke from a source well and dispensing with blowout into a target well. Reverse pipetting is mainly recommended for solutions with a high viscosity or a tendency to foam, as it reduces the risk of splashing, foam, or bubble formation. The desired volume and an additional volume, known as the overstroke volume, are aspirated. During this step, the piston moves forward, executes the piston reversal and a slight downward movement to ensure that the exact desired volume can be dispensed into the target cavity, which is the dispense step. The additional overstroke volume and the blowout volume is then transferred back to the source or into the liquid waste. The tips are empty and the pistons move back to the pistons to zero line, the starting position to be prepared to start a new piston cycle. To summarize, reverse pipetting is aspirate with overstroke from a source well and dispense the exact volume without blowout. Final ejection includes blowout volume back to source or into the liquid waste. The reverse pipetting mode is also recommended for precisely dispensing of small volumes. Analytigena's pipetting robot SciBio Felix offers you both pipetting techniques. That means you can always choose depending on your dispensing needs of each project.